Hello friends, in this video, I will talk about AC waveforms and terms related with AC. So in this video, the topics to be covered are what is AC wave, then why we use sine wave in AC circuit analysis, then terms related with, with AC such as amplitude, cycle, period and frequency. The first one is what is AC wave. So basically, the electricity is divided into two types. The first one is direct current and another one is alternating current. So direct current is the current which has a constant direction and a constant magnitude. It means that it has same direction and its magnitude is constant over time. For example, this is the waveform of a DC. Here you can observe that this is the time axis and over this time the current is remaining constant it is not changing its direction means it is if it is positive it will remain positive and if it is negative it will remain negative with its com constant magnitude the next one is alternating current which is the main topic here so alternating currents are having its direction and magnitude continuously variable means it changes its direction and magnitude. So whenever we talk about AC wave, the main waveform that uh, that come into our mind is the sine wave. And this is the sine wave. Here we can observe that it changes its direction. It is from uh, positive side and it goes to uh, it is going to the negative side. And here it has uh, a changing magnitude as well you can observe here that it has magnitude continuously changing here first it is increasing after that it is decreasing then at some point of time it will become zero and further it will become negative too so ac wave has has its direction and magnitudes as a variable then this is also a AC wave. It has positive as well as negative direction and its magnitude for positive is constant and for negative is constant. But again, its, its value is varying as the direction is also varying. Then this is a triangular waveform. It is also having the same things. Then this is sawtooth wave. It is also type of AC wave, but it does not, uh, all these waveforms are can be mathematically expressed, but uh, some waveforms cannot be mathematically expressed like this. So this waveform is also AC type because it has its changing magnitude as well as it's, it is changing its direction. And this waveform cannot be expressed mathematically because it is a random waveform. Then the second question is why we use sine wave in our circuit analysis. The answer behind is, uh, behind is that this is the alternator or we can say that it is an AC generator. Whenever we talk about AC generator, it has uh, a magnet and a rotating coil inside that magnet. Whenever these lines of forces of magnet change, uh, cuts, that is magnetic flux changes, then this AC is generated. So in case of uh, this generation, this flux change due to the rotating magnet follows the function of sine. And that's why we generally consider it as a sine wave. The second option is that if we want to plot this uh, graph as shown in the table, this is, these are the values here. And if you want to plot this graph, this is the sine angle and further, this is the sine angle here, say it is zero degree, then sine angle of that is zero, then sine 15 is this one. And like this, if we plot the sine angle here, we, we will get uh, from 0 to 180 degree, we will get uh, some 0 to positive value and further it will decrease and further 180 to 360 degree, we are having the negative values like this. And if we plot it uh, on a graph paper, we will get uh, 
a waveform like this this is nothing but a sine waveform and thus we can say that uh, after the, uh, in ac generation the waveform that exists is sine wave and that's why we use uh, sine wave in ac analysis as uh, for the circuit analysis now we will move to the main topics these are the terms related with ac wave the first one is cycle so one complete set of positive and negative values of alternating quantity is called as cycle here this is the example in this case we can observe here that this is the positive set of values and this one is the negative set of values here so here if we consider this as positive values this is these are the set of positive this is the set of positive value and this is the set of negative values and if we combine this positive and negative set we will get a cycle so this one is the cycle so it is the first cycle again a positive set of values and a negative set of value will make another cycle so this is the second cycle and from this point to this point we are getting the third cycle so in this way this is a, a cycle the next one is period now this is the x axis and if we are having time on this x axis then further the time required for the alternating quantity to complete one full cycle is called the period and uh, as it is period so its unit is related with time and its unit is second so now consider this diagram here this is a complete cycle and the time that is this is written on the x axis and the time required to complete this cycle is called as period therefore this one is period which is indicated by the letter capital t now this is not the only definition of a period and in measurement if you want to measure the period it can be measured between any two correspond, uh, corresponding points in our waveform because whenever we consider a sine waveform definitely it it is same over a period of time and therefore a period can be measured from two peaks like this so this positive peak to this positive peak this one is also period then from one zero point to another zero point but uh, leaving one zero point there so this is also a period then this one that is this this zero point to this zero point will also indicate a period as well as the negative peak will also indicates a period so period can be measured like this the next terms uh, the term which is related is frequency the number of wave cycle wave cycles completed in one second by the alternating quantity is called frequency so here the unit of frequency is hertz and it is abbreviated as hz here the definition is the number of cycles completed in one second so if this is a period of one second and here you can easily measure the number of cycles so this one is the first cycle that is consisting of positive and negative period this one is the first cycle and this is the another cycle so in one second it is completing two cycle therefore for this figure f is equals to 2 hertz its unit is hertz and it is abbreviated as hz similarly if this is one uh, second and here the number of cycles completed is this one the first second third and this one is four so total four cycles are completed here therefore the frequency of this wave is four hertz and likewise we can decide the frequency here this is the frequency and it is indicated by f so the next term actually is uh, that is the relation between this frequency and time period t is f is equals to one upon t or we can say that t is equals to 1 upon f that is inverse of each other the next term which is related is angular frequency if you want to express the frequency in terms of electrical radian per second then it is called as angular frequency and and uh, 
uh, for one cycle it is 2 pi radians and therefore the formula for angular frequency is omega equals to 2 pi f the angular frequency is indicated by small letter omega and omega is having formula omega equals to 2 pi f where f is the frequency of sine wave so this angular frequency can be expressed in degree as well as radian so this is the figure in which it is expressed in the form of degree here a complete cycle is from 0 to 360 degree so definitely half cycle will be of 180 degree and further its half is 90 degree and so on so this is the zero degree there here the position is 90 degree where we will get the maximum value of this quantity then at 270 degree we will get the least negative value and again at 360 degree we will get zero value as well as on 180 degree we will get zero value of the alternating quantity for a sine wave as well as uh, as we said that it is it can be also expressed in radian here so 90 degree means pi by 2 radian then uh, pi radian means 180 degree similarly 3 pi by 2 is 270 degree and a complete cycle is 2 pi radian this is 2 pi radian and therefore omega is having formula 2 pi f the last term which is related with ac is amplitude and it is the height of ac wave here this is the height of ac wave which also indicates the magnitude if it is a voltage waveform definitely this value will indicate voltage and if it is current value if it is a current waveform then these values are of current thank you